This is Euclid Book 4, Proposition Number 11. And you're going to begin with this proposition by drawing a circle called A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. And then off to the side, you're going to draw a triangle called F, G, H. And you're going to draw F, G, H in accordance to Euclid Book 4, Proposition Number 10. Okay, so that means that the triangle FGH has to have the base angles and each base angle has to be double the size of the remaining angle. Okay, and I showed you how to do this in Euclid Book 4, Proposition 10 and in Euclid Book 4, Proposition 10, Supplemental. If you have any further questions, you can ask me. That's fine. Okay, now, you are to inscribe triangle ACD. Well, here's A and here's C and here's D. You're to inscribe this triangle and this triangle is to be equal angular, okay? This triangle is to be equal angular to uh, triangle FGH which you just created, okay? So that means that this base angle here is going to be equal to the base angle of FGH. This base angle here is going to be equal to the ang angle of uh, FGH and so on and so forth, okay? And this angle here is going to be double the size of this. This angle here is going to be double the size of this. Okay. Now, you are to bisect line ACD and, oh, not line, I'm sorry, not line. You are to bisect angle ACD. Well, here's A and here's C and here's D. You're going to bisect it, okay? And you're going to bisect angle CDA, which this is C, this is D, this is A over here. So CDA, you're going to bisect this one. That's what this line is for, and that's what this line is for. And you're going to be able to do this by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 9. And once you do, you're going to join up lines A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, and E, A. All right. Now, since angle ACD, well, where's ACD? Well, here's ACD. Since this angle here is double the size of C CAD, which this is CAD here. Since this angle is, bigger, is twice the size of this one. And we can also say the CDA here is twice the size of CAD. So this is twice the size of this. And they have been bisected by CE and DB, respectively. Then angle DAC, well, let's see, where's DAC? Well, here's D, here's A, and here's C. This angle here is equal to ACE. Well, where's ACE? Well, here's A, and here's C, and here's E. So there's, there's this angle here, right here. This angle here is equal to this angle here. Where's ECD? Well, here's E, and here's C, and here's uh, D right here. So ECD right here. Okay, and where's CDB? Well, where's CDB? Well, here's C and here's D and here is B. So there's that one right there. Okay, and where's BDA? Well, here's B and here's here's D and here's A. So that one right there. So all five of the angles I just listed off are equal in size. And since equal angles stand on equal circumferences, which we proved in Euclid Book 3, Proposition Number 26, then we can say the circumference AB, this is circumference AB, this is circumference BC, this is circumference CD, this is circumference DE, and this is circumference uh, EA. All five of those circumferences are equal. And that means that Equal circumferences are also subtended by equal straight lines. This is what proved in Euclid Book 3, Proposition Number 29. Therefore, line AB, line BC, line CD, line DE, and line EA are all equal in size. All right. Since circumference AB is equal to circumference DE, well, here's AB and here is DE. Then we're going to let circumference BCD be added to each. Well, where is BCD? Well, here's B and here's C and here's C. Here's D. Okay? 
B, C, D here. So we're going to add this amount to this and this same amount to um, this. Okay? And when we do, then we can say circumference A, B, C, D, well here's A, here's B, here's C, here's D, is equal to circumference E, D, C, B. E, D, C, B. All right. And since angle A, E, D, well where's A, E, D? Well here's A and here's E and here's D. Since that angle there stands on circumference A, B, C, D, well here's A, B, C, D. And since angle B, A, E, well here's B and here's A and here's E, since that angle there stands on uh, circumference E, D, C, B, well here's E, D, C, B. Then angle BAE, well here's B and here's A and here's E, is equal to angle AED. Well here's A and here's E and here's D. Okay? And that's by Euclid Book 3, Proposition Number 27. And then you can go on to prove that a, B, angle ABC, angle BCD, and angle CDE are equal to angle BAE and angle AED respectively. And then we have just finally proven that this pentagon is equilangular and equilateral. And that's what we were required to prove. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.